So now we're gonna apply the decal. This particular table is a flat surface. We have another style of table that has a beveled inset that's made to accept a logo. If you're looking at your table and you have a beveled inset, this is not the video for you. You're gonna to wanna to look at that video specifically for the application of that style of decal. But if what you see is a totally flat table, then this is where you need to be. So what we're essentially gonna do is start by centering the decal on the tabletop. And it helps to have a tape measure. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of measure from the edge of the, the, the table and kind of see where, where I need to be to have it centered. Once you have the decal centered, I just like to eyeball it, make sure that it looks square. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use masking tape and use the masking tape to lock this decal in position. So I'm gonna go on either side and I'm just gonna put a quick piece of tape there. And I'll come over here and I'll put a quick piece of tape here. And again, I'm just checking it visually, making sure everything looks square. I'll probably come back and measure it one more time, just make sure everything didn't move. And everything's looking good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is maybe put one more line of tape all the way across this decal. Oops. We just wanna make sure that we really kinda of lock it in so that thing isn't gonna move. Okay, so for the next step, what we're gonna need is a razor knife or razor blade of some sort and a squeegee of some sort. Now, this one in particular has a felt edge uh, it's got a soft edge on it, so as you're kind of working uh, the logo down, it doesn't scratch. You could use a credit card. Um, if you do that, maybe just wrap the edge in a, a, a towel or a t-shirt or just something to protect the edge so that you don't scratch your decal. But So these are the, tool, the two steps for the next stage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start from one of the two sides and I'm going to peel the logo up. all the way back to the tape. And I'm just gonna lay it flat back on itself. As you're doing that, you just wanna make sure that you don't crease or crinkle the logo. You wanna be very careful that you don't, that you don't do that. Um, next, I'm gonna take my razor knife. And again, what I'm gonna do is just carefully slice this backer off. And you want a nice, clean, sharp edge you don't want to tear the backer where you get, um, you know, chunks of the backer that might stick to the adhesive. You want a nice clean cut there. I'm going to get rid of that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to essentially lay this half of the decal down on the table. So I'm going to hold it up off the table. And I'm going to use my squeegee to start from the middle and kind of work my way to the edge. I start in the middle and then I kind of smooth out to the outside. That helps prevent bubbles. Just kind of slowly work my way down. Always pushing from inside out. Okay, and that looks good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our masking tape off. Carefully as to not hurt the logo or the... So we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. I'm gonna peel the logo back. And now what I'll do is 
again, very carefully pull this portion of the backer away. And then once again, I'll hold the, the decal up off the table so it doesn't touch and stick uh, before we want it to. And again, just working from the inside out with the squeegee, we'll kind of work it into the table. Once it's down, I'll go in, I'll just give it a good firm push and with my squeegee and make sure that all the edges and everything is down nice and firm. Make sure there's no bubbles, but it looks good. So that's how you apply this tabletop. Um, with this method, it should be ready right away for your athletes. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact Rogers or Impact and uh, we'll do our best to help you out.